Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy to get crypto here. So let's dive into an update, you know, discussing kind of like what is going on for Luna Classic it, on the overall perspective of things and how it's kind of being perceived now. Because, you know, it wasn't so long ago you was going to the price and you were seeing a big red warning label and it's gone, hasn't it? We all know it's gone. If you didn't know that, you do know that now. And it has been gone for around a week. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're really looking for now is kind of things like this. Crypto.com putting trading pairs back up so you can trade your Luna Classic for also USDT and BUSD because prior to this, it was only USDC you could trade it for. Now, having these extra pairs enabled may not seem like a big deal to most, but to myself from where I'm sitting, it's showing that exchanges are starting to trust Luna Classic again, we're restoring the trust factor into things. Now, going over to, you know, just the day-to-day -day things that are going on, you know, people are putting out cryptic tweets about this whole squeeze situation which is going on, which is kind of weird, you know? This is normal. I wouldn't see this as a short squeeze. I would just see this as a normal, you know? We built up a real, real hard pump and we have to come back down to reality. Okay, we have to consolidate but what you need to remember is we're still up we're still up a considerable amount and we're in a period right now where we're waiting for the burn tax to land and everyone's waiting to see what happens could it be buy the rumor sell the news of course it could be of course people might sell out on the day the burn tax lands because they might think you know this is the point where you know, i'm supposed to sell out so to speak but if you're in it for the long run you're in it for the long run so going over to the uh, burn wallet, and as you can see, I've sent through a 1.4 million burn. This is the final charity um, auction I'll be doing for Luna Punks. Um, I feel like I've brought the project forward and helped revitalize it, restore it, and get it to where it needs to be. And it's better than just bringing, you know, a project to you guys and going, well, here's the project. And then kind of like forgetting about it, like, you know, you've done, I've done my job. And it's kind of like you really actually need to help these projects. And I've always been like this with Metagloria, Starship and Luna Punks. And now working with also Luna Burn Knights, which I believe is a really good solid NFT project. The same as uh, Luna Punks is. And we sold the punk for... Yeah, so we sold the punk for 7.3 million. 80% went to the Luna Punks treasury, which is where the Luna Punks stake and rewards come from. And then 1.4 million went to burn, which was the 20%. Now, Luna Classic by any means is not cheap anymore. And 7.3 million, as you can see at that time, equated out to that much. It's not a small amount. And this is what I'm saying. A lot of people are saying, you know, it's still cheap. It's still really cheap. But in my opinion, it's really not. Like if we go back four, five weeks ago, it was cheap. Go back another month, it was so much cheaper. And as we've gone on, our price has gone up. And you're seeing articles like this. I don't read articles, as you guys know. I feel them to be very highly unnecessary. But, you know, Terra Luna make an impressive comeback. Is it time to invest? And seeing places like this, putting up these um, posts, is it's really good because it shows that we're turning heads. People are looking at Luna Classic and going, oh, maybe it is time to invest. Maybe I can catch a falling knife or possibly they think something m way more than that. And the price itself is not doing bad. I wouldn't say we're in a short squeeze. Short squeezes last for quite some time. And I just don't see this being a short squeeze in my opinion. What I see this as being is just normal, healthy consolidation and profit taking. It's as simple as that. And you would have a lot more profit taking if people hadn't have locked their coins up, so to speak, you know, if they hadn't locked them up in staking a lot of, I would say 90% of people actually locked all of their coins up and then realized straight away after like, oh, I'm going to need some to sell during a pump if there's a pump. And um, they're all obviously undelegating their coins and waiting 21 days or undelegating a certain amount of their coins and waiting 21 days. But, you know, do keep an eye out for that. I will be letting you know on the day what day it lands on and we'll go through and we'll see how the price reacts um exactly 21 days after um the re-enabling of everything because i think it's really interesting to understand profit taking and that 
people need to understand that crypto is volatile it goes up and down that's the whole thing behind cryptocurrency and it's all experimental to put it in the most simplest of terms and you know your capital is always going to be at risk and even in stable coins your money is at risk and we've seen this with the algorithmic side of um, stable coins and ust TC itself, I will say this to people again because someone has messaged me. Well, a few people messaged me today saying, Shall I invest in it? Is it a good idea to invest in it? And you know, I, I wouldn't invest in something that was as heavily controlled as this coin is because it just goes to show if we can get it to show more info. It just goes to show how heavily whale controlled this coin is. Here we go top 100 holders, 89.57% what kind of other coins are out there that are like this shiba inu so for good shiba inu it's not far off being you know exactly the same as what ustc is on a control level you know and that's a lot of co coins for the top 100 holders to actually hold so you can al already see there shib is so whale controlled that you know any profits that people are making it's nothing compared to what these whales are making on top. And the last thing you want to see is a whale controlled coin. If we go to Terra Classic, you can see the top 100 holders only own 32.9% showing that this coin is far from whale controlled. And in effect, no one should be able to, as of yet, control the price very heavily. And um, that's why we're seeing a lot of people attempt to short the market. Now, why do people short the market? Well, because there's a lot of money to be made when holding a long or short position. If you put 100x leverage on it, you're going to be making an absolute killing if you get it right. And I know people that make absolute killings from longing and shorting the market. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they loiter around on places like this and use the chat system to um, say to people, you know, it's going to crash this dump in and blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And it's just like, you know, they will go to any ends to FUD something down to make it drop more so they can gain a position to then hold a long position on the way up and just make a killing each and every single time. So I'll leave it on that note, folks. Um, really positive that we've got, you know, crypto.com putting different trading pairs back up and all these different things that are happening on the outside of the actual movement. So it's really good to see that. Folks, beware of scammers. I'll never DM you. Beware of WhatsApp numbers. I will never ever post anything like that. All the ones that post in the YouTube comments are fake. Honestly, if you need to get hold of me, go to my Telegram group on my Twitter handle. Jump in there at me and I will appear to answer your questions. Folks, none of this is financial advice. Tap a little like on the way out if you feel like it. Subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll catch you in the next one. Shoop.